Yes, sir. Can you What's hear up? Me? What's up, bro? You good? Yes, sir. Just in the studio. You know how we do. So first, first things first. Um, how you doing with the whole COVID situation? Everybody I'm healthy? Good. good. I just be out the way, man. I stay, stay low. Listen to music, learn instruments, learn other things, and you know, <laughs> stay out the way. Yeah. First things first. I, you know, I feel like a lot of people are really using this time to grow as people. If you're a musician, you're probably honing your craft, making new music, trying to look for the next guy that's gonna, you know, hit it off. In the gaming industry, we're looking for people that are streaming and really trying to make their name that way. Do you kind of think that there's something to that, that this is such a great time, iron sh sharpens iron? Um, well, I mean, I know everybody's spending more time on their crap. I wouldn't say it's like a great time in any way because it's just so traumatic. Everybody's going to be traumatized one way or another because of what's going on. But um, I am I am glad that they're spending more time. Uh, I mean, uh, people are showing more love to the gaming industry and like the, the nuances in it and how talented some of these kids are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of the old-fashioned people probably just like, man, it's video games. It's not, da, da, da. That's a real sport. Like, this is like the new chess. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm just glad that there's being more light um, upon, like, the game industry as a whole. Yeah, and I love the people that are broadcasting. You notice, like, all these kids that play 2K are really creating an audience for themselves and, like, their point of view. <laughs> you know so much about having a direct point of view reaching out to your fans it must be kind of cool to engage with your fans of course not physically you must miss touring but you do it digitally you get to play 2k and all of that stuff yeah you know um virtual virtual is actually good for some for, for some people because there's some people that you interact with that would have never seen you at your show or whatever there's been people that have like dm me about like wow when i was i was on your live like i'm letting li listen to something blah 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 and you know, like that it, you 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 made me a better person. You made me feel this way. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I'm, I'm definitely grateful for that type of stuff. And you know, like I said, like the gaming community as a whole. Like, there's so many. There's so many. Like, like Ronnie, imagine being like 13 right now. Yeah. Like with strict parents, you can't really go with nowhere. Blah blah blah. It's COVID, but you can go online and like actually have a social life with your friends. Yeah. You know I mean? That's kind of like how I feel with like the fans. Sometimes, like I want to if I go live or you know, or, or I'm like having you on Twitter or checking my DMs. Yeah. I mean, it's about building community, allowing people to, even if they can't connect physically, we feel like we have an obligation to do that as, you know, the basketball video game. So speaking of the basketball video, uh, Routine is in the NBA 2K1. We announced the soundtrack this morning. Tell us the story behind that song. Um, Man. I, I I just I think I I know Ross sent me that joint. Ross sent it to me. Yeah. And I think I was like, you know, I was just like, yo, let me just uh let me just let me just, you know, mess around with the joint a little bit. And then when like I revisited it like closer to my album release and you know, the rest is like history for real. Yeah. I mean, but getting the collab with two absolute legends, Meek Mill, Rick Ross, that makes three legends on that song. Can you talk about what it was? like to work with them uh you know on that track um the crazy thing is like me and me got probably like way 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 more songs like together and me and ross got songs together and all that but that was just that just happened to be the one that we felt at the time you know what i'm saying there's there's different like songs with different energies you know what i'm saying but that just happened to be the one at that like specific time um i wouldn't even even say it would like be my favorite that we've done within the past year and a half. But, you know, it made its mark. I just say that it made its mark for sure. But we got more in the chamber. Yeah, I mean, it definitely made its mark, obviously, being on the soundtrack. This is the, is it, this is the first time you've been on the 2K soundtrack? Obviously, you've worked with the WWE game, but is this the first time you've been on NBA? I think you it, know, uh, I was in the game before, that one year when you had the, fan, the, the, yeah. uh, the celebrities in the stands. I was thinking about when you and I were talking earlier this week, sorry about the dog. Um, that you and I have known each other for, God, almost 10 years now. Yeah. We met the first time. And you've mm -hmm. been saying with such a, you know, mad respect for just everything that you've got going on. Oh. Lose you? Yeah, no, I got you again. I, I didn't hear what you were saying. No, I was just saying we've known each other for 10 years. It's just like that time. It's crazy. And obviously your development in the music game, like, man, 
you just yeah. you're so much fun to watch live obviously we probably missed that you know with the whole COVID situation but just uh it's been amazing to get to know you over the past 10 years well i appreciate that man um it uh you know it's a blessing to still be like you know in the mix and being in the conversation and you know knowing i got so much ahead of me as well you know what i'm saying i'm very like blessed and fortunate that everybody just rocking with me how they've been rocking with me and that y'all still rocking with me like how y'all rocking with me like it's, it's a blessing yeah well you you know what you and i became friends really over wrestling like that was always mm -hmm. something that you and i talked about uh, obviously still a big uh Ric Flair and WWE fan. Can you talk about your love for wrestling a little bit? Um, yeah, man. You know, you know, I'm like, you know, you know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of friends that work for like MLW, AEW, WWE, whatever, whatever. But like, I just like how I like the improv. I like the, the, the writing. Sometimes, you know, what I'm saying. But you know, I'm just a fan. It's just a, it's, just, it's a good little getaway from what I do on a daily basis. Yeah, it's that like it's not, it's not football. It's not basketball. It's not hip hop. It's just like something different. That Those I'm not Shows without fans. I mean, it must be just like obviously. Well, shout out to Rose. Rose just entered the chat. I just want to say shout out to my my dog Rose. Shout out Rose. Um, the uh, it's the same sort of thing. Like you, you're losing that access to fans, not going getting to go on tour. The WWE must be struggling the same way, not to being able to perform in front of the millions of great WWE fans. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think that for the most part, that you know, you know, people are tuning in. You know, they're getting it. They're, they're handling business and. You know, same thing with AEW and MLW and, R and Ring of Honors. They figuring out a way. They, they they fighting through this little era right now. I give them that. Yeah, one hundred percent. Let's and Cody putting on great matches every week. So it's it's, it's they getting through it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Let's talk about the NBA. Um, Western Conference Finals. Western Conference Finals. Who do you got now that the NBA season is restarting on Thursday? Man, I gotta see like the first two games. Man, I just gotta see. It's gonna be totally. Like, you know what I'm saying because I I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Until like the real, because we don't know what it, what the, what the, what it's gonna feel or look like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The adrenaline levels are gonna be different in there, but you know, I, you know, Lakers are always gonna be a favorite because they're the Lakers and it's LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? But I, I really gotta see what it looks like when they're not scrimmaging. Yeah. For like a couple of days. How long have you been playing NBA 2K? What was the first one? Do you remember? Uh... I might have been on Dreamcast or something. I don't know, but uh, um, I used to be good at it though. <laughs> well, I, mean, I can't when, shoot. I can't shoot no more, man. When you, I've, been, I've been working on my shooting on it for a long, like for like, like maybe like a month. Can't yeah. shoot no more with nobody. Yeah, NBA Two K Thirteen. You were on the celebrity team. That was uh, that was quite the memory. That was wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you were to give yourself a rating uh, at Two K, and then as a rapper, I would love to hear both numbers. Of course, zero to ninety nine. I'm a 99 as a rapper because I just think I can do everything. But that's just my opinion. You know, there's not 999, 99, Wale's in the world. But in my personal opinion, I'm a 99. I'm a, I can do everything. I can get buckets. I can pass. I can make plays. I can write hooks. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can write for other people. So I'm going to give myself 99. 100%. The one and only Wale joining me in the chat. Hey, Wale, I'm going to give you a opportunity here. Um, we're going to give away a Galaxy Opal of choice. Mm -hmm. You can pick the gamer tag, or I'm sorry, the IG handle um, that gets a reward, a, a Galaxy Opal of their choice. How do I, how do I, how do I um, decide? If you see that, just uh, everybody's going to probably start asking. So just pick a, pick a game. I don't want to upset anybody, Ronnie. I don't. <laughs> you, you, you used to like, so what? Give away some, somebody. Oh, I didn't win. So <laughs> but, See, I'm such an empath that's going to disturb my day from upsetting so many people. Um, I mean, I could do it for you if you want. I could play the bad guy. I could play the heel. Um, let me see. Uh, right, how about this? How about we ask them the favorite ever Wale song? Super nah, I don't want to be vain right now. I want to. I want to. I want to. I don't want to put. I want to put it on something else. Um. All right. Who was um? Who is your favorite Golden State Warrior that is not on the team right now and is not named Kevin Durant? Your favorite Golden State Warrior? Go. The first one got it. First one. Let's see who actually knows the Golden. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching. We wait. Watching. We still watching. 
I'm not, I'm not seen. I'm not. I haven't seen a full name yet. Oh, there's one. Nah. I, okay, there it goes. Monte Ellis. Okay, so that person wins. P. Watch.